Hey guys, good morning. I don't know how many of you do this. In case if you're like me, just comment down and let me know below. Like I cannot open my mouth without brushing my teeth. It smells so bad and I always wonder how people actually wake up and just kiss in the movies. During the lockdown, I developed the habit of waking up late. I wake up around 7.30, 8 and very rarely when my kidney doesn't cooperate, I wake up early to pee. And whenever that happens, my family, my entire family will be like... In case if you don't know in what situation I got this stubborn, I linked the iCard here. You can go and watch this vlog. So basically, I took bath. This is so annoying. I have like few skincare products, just few skincare products and uh, I try to use them regularly. One such product is this one. This is actually a vitamin C toner from Pixi. In case you want to buy a good vitamin C product, definitely don't buy this. Please don't buy this because this does nothing to my skin and moreover it smells like lemon juice or I think lemon pop and yes, it smells like that. And it doesn't even feel like I'm applying some kind of skincare product on my face. It's weird. But then the glow tonic is really good. Uh, the toner which I was actually using previously. Uh, that one was really good. And what else? Their uh, skin polish scrub. Wait and show you. This one is really, really, really good. Other than that, like if you need a good vitamin C serum, you can definitely check the Dr. Shed's vitamin C serum yes it is a new release i guess i haven't used that but uh, my cousin like she is a huge skincare addict and she has used that and she has told me that it works really good you can try that if you want uh, i'm still using this because it's 1400 and i don't have the heart to throw 1400 worth <coughs> bottle kunjum overacting yeah i don't want to throw 1400 worth bottle into the dustbin without using it then I use this eye cream. This one is from Eclat. I think that's how it has to be pronounced. This is a good, decent eye cream. And then I finally use this moisturizer. Finally, some lip balm. Mm, Being dumb. Usually I'll stop with this but today since I'm filming I'm gonna go a little bit extra and powder my face using a very special product. Uh, I've never been without this product uh, like I've been using it since my childhood and it's none other than. Basically to mattify my face. And also I forgot to tell you guys something. I dried my hair using this L'Oreal Extraordinary Oil Serum. I think this also acts as heat protectant. Generally, I don't make breakfast and all. Today, my cook cacao wasn't there. I don't know where she got disappeared and I didn't know what to do. So, I thought of showing you guys my cooking talent. I wanted to make mushroom cheese sandwich, but that stupid bread thing got stuck to the tawa and it refused to come off. I tried my maximum and ended up with only this. <laughs> what to do? So, I mixed everything and made it into an upma. So by the time I settle down, it will be 9 o'clock in the morning and I'll start having my breakfast. So this is basically a mushroom and a bread upma. I tried my maximum. I don't know where my maid went. So these are bread particles. These are some mushrooms. Not bad. It's good only. I also have my green juice. So this is basically coriander, cucumber and um, lemon. I don't drink this daily but whenever there is coriander available in my house, okay. Nowadays the coriander which we get from the shop while buying itself, it's coming like this only and after two days, that's it. Completely gone and every two days if I go and ask my dad for coriander, I don't know. A chicken, mutton and all, he'll buy without uh, asking any questions but when it comes to coriander, he'll get pissed off and he'll be like, what, am I growing coriander in my head or what? Every two days once, I'll pluck and I'll give you. For that, I can sit simply without drinking anything. Who needs coriander from his head? I 
at 9 30 sharp i log in and i'll start working uh, like i do not film anything or i do not uh, do any content for my youtube or instagram during the weekdays because i have this work uh, one day during the weekends i do all my youtube and instagram related work then for what the are you filming it now you might ask i have an answer for that like i'm filming now because it is a saturday and saturday we do not work saturday and sunday are off for us so i thought of filming a video of how it would be generally during the weekdays for me so i'm just pretending to work i'm not working I take some time to check my mails and everything and then I sit down and make my to-do list. Uh, this is the note in which I write down everything that I had to do in that particular day. Three things will be the same for every single day. One, I have to submit something called work from home request every day without fail. It is basically like an attendance that I work from home. Uh, two, my workout plan for that particular day. And three, I have to make sure that I read at least one page from any book before I go to sleep. Not just that I do in it i have my habit trackers in it and so many other random stuff actually After I'm done with my to-do list, I start writing in this note. This is my journal. I also record all the expenses that I did on that month. But for this month, I stopped halfway through because I spent a lot. And I know for sure I'll get heart attack if I write it down in numbers. I started journaling from last October. Ever since then, I've recorded every single day. I basically like the idea of it. In the future, after a few years, you can turn back pages and know what you did on a specific day. Finally, I have this note where I write down all my YouTube and Insta related video ideas. Look at that note, full empty only, nothing in it, just like my videos. And then this, this is actually to take down all my office related notes. Uh, I have to take a lot of notes because I'm so dreamy, such a wavering mind I have. I tend to forget a lot of things. Guys, do you remember all these markers? These four markers, I don't even use. This is the only marker which I use. In case if you forgot or in case if you don't know what I'm talking about, go to my Miniso haul and see. You'll get an idea. Miniso and Amazon haul it is. Okay. I have a whole new packet of markers. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with this. Probably I will give this as a giveaway. I mean, I'll keep this in my giveaway. When I reach 1000 subscribers, one of you will win a chance to get this. <laughs> Please don't unsubscribe me. There are five markers inside. Uh, one of you is going to be really lucky to get this. Uh, pink, uh, orange, uh, neon green, uh, purple, and this is sunset orange. See? Sunset orange only. No, yes. Sunset orange. Like you get to own five markers. So please subscribe to my channel. Please. In case if you're wondering what a shoe is doing in my table, my brother has a dog. My stupid brother has a stupid dog. That stupid dog took one of my shoes and he has kept it somewhere. I mean, I think he has hidden it somewhere and we've been searching it for uh, like two days and we couldn't find it. And for the past two days, I didn't work out because of this. And if you ask me, is this and all one reason for not working out? <laughs> I am like that only. <laughs> stupid dog, he can't even talk. How will I find where my shoe? I don't know. I also got a little bit of makeup products a few days ago and uh, I'll quickly show you guys what it is. I don't want to make this as a separate haul video because there are so many haul videos already on my channel. Every week I think I'm uploading a haul video so I don't want to make this as a separate video. And also there are so many haul videos that will be coming up next month because <laughs> it's my birthday. 
actually i wanted to buy a good green color eyeshadow palette for a very long time because i didn't have that in my collection i was actually aiming for that huda beauty obsession palette the small one uh, the green one i think it's called emerald i'm not sure so i was aiming for that but then uh, i thought like for a green eyeshadow should i have to spend that much because green is not the kind of color that we tend to use a lot right so i wanted to get something a bit cheaper and then i was actually looking at the makeup revolution palette uh, that was for 8800 and something i mean it had way too many colors than what i wanted and also it was for 1800 rupees 1800 rupees for green eyeshadow mm. that's when uh, makeup revolution suddenly launched their dynamic palettes uh, so these are those palettes uh this is green and red uh, they also come in red brown black i guess i'm not sure uh, but there are a uh, few more colors so what i did i added this to my cart on nika then suddenly i felt like checking hawk makeup and i was shocked because this was on 50 percent off so i got this for 500 and something rupees only i'm very bad at max so you put the calculation the original mrp of this is 925 and uh, i ordered for a green one and a blue one but then uh, instead of blue red came i never used to return things and all because i hate that whole exchange thing i'm basically lazy that is the reason okay and i also got this one this one is from la girl it is their break free palette this was also for 50 percent off you guys so this is how the palette looks it has beautiful pink purple tone to it i didn't even uh, remove the wasn't as smooth as i thought the original mrp of this is 1900 and something and i got this for 900 and something so when i was in school no my dad used to put a brown sheet for all my notebooks and uh, within one week immediately like within one week i won't even listen to the class i won't even listen to the class otherwise also but still i'm telling okay i won't listen to the class i'll just look at the teacher and i'll slowly start peeling off the lamination from that brown sheet like this That feeling is something different. I love that feel of removing laminations from brown sheet. Also wanted to tell another thing. I'm not going to be using this particular palette because I have a lot of uh, red toned palettes already. So this is how the palette looks. I haven't yet used this. Since I won't be using it, I thought of keeping it in the giveaway. In case if I hit 1000 anytime soon, I'll be having this in the giveaway. Okay. And I also got this Lacme foundation in the shade uh, Cool Walnut. I still remember like when I was a kid, my mom used to have these uh, Lacme foundations. And I think uh, at that time they came in three, two or three shades. White, white square, white cube. It'll be like that only. White, white, white. I don't know for whom in Tamil Nadu they are going to sell those shades. So she used to have one and I remember I used to apply it on my face. I think only once I did, not every day. And I used to go to the school as though I am one big uh, celebrity people won't even give a shit but i used to walk like one princess one day wearing the lacme foundation don't touch me <laughs> so i wanted to try this out so i got this i also got this uh, maybelline instant age rewind concealer i love this concealer it settles down beautifully on the skin but the only problem is the shade range uh, i got the second last darkest shade in their range but still it is light on my skin tone a little bit light like i can use this as my highlight shade but still it kind of gives me gray cast when i apply over my pigmentation dark circles i don't know why they can bring in a lot of dark shades i think it's there in other countries but not in our country so that one i got and i also got a matte lipstick this is in the shade mandarin oh. it actually looks really bold bright and everything but on my lips it doesn't look that bright it's kind of wearable and i also got these uh lacme forever matte liquid lipsticks because these are really good liquid lipsticks for the price that we pay it's affordable and it's good i mean not affordable i would say these are really cheap and also really good so i thought of making a video with it so i got all these shades that's it guys that's it for today's video thank you so much for hanging on till the end and in case if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel uh, subscribe to my channel please consider doing that and uh, remember the things which i said that i'll keep on give away the marker so subscribe if you like the video please